I got your juicy entertainment news for Monday. Cedric the Entertainer hosted the Emmys last night downtown L.A., making him only the second solo black host in the event's history. He kicked off the show with an awesome tribute to Biz Markie that featured LL Cool J and Tom Hanks' wife, Rita Wilson. Who knew that she had those rapping skills? It was awesome. The audience participated. It was just it was a beautiful tribute. It was a lot of fun, too. Um, our lovely Debbie Allen um, received the 2021 Governor's Award. RuPaul also made history by winning the most Emmys ever by a person of color. And Kerry Washington, she took a moment to honor the late Michael K. Williams, who she said left us far too soon while holding back tears. She called him a brilliant, brilliantly talented actor and a generous human being. Um, the Crown ended up with the most wins with 11 Emmys, including Best Drama Series, Best Actress, Best Actor, Best Supporting Actor, and our X-Files gal Gillian Anderson won for Best Supporting Actress. Now, she confused the hell out of everyone when she got up and delivered her acceptance speech in her Native American accent. Yes, wait, what? Uh, she's American? Well, of course she is. Remember X-Files? But then, for 20 years after that, we were seeing her in a lot of roles with a British accent. So a lot of us thought that she was British, especially when she killed it in her Iron Lady role on The Crown. Um, but she was actually born in Chicago and spent her childhood split between Puerto Rico and London. She ended up moving back to Illinois when she was a young girl and, um, of course, was on The X-Files for 11 seasons. Um, and then she relocated full-time to London, where she played a string of British roles. She's what they call a multi-bi-dialectal. Sometimes she's got an American accent, sometimes she's British. Um, yesterday, Chris Rock revealed on social media that he has been diagnosed with COVID-19. He didn't disclose if he's currently experiencing symptoms or anything like that, but he did include a very important message to all of his followers saying, hey guys, I just found out I have COVID. Trust me, you don't want this. Get vaccinated. Um, Naz is also one of the other uh, artists who recently revealed that uh, he too had battled COVID last year in October. He said it was a really tough time. He said it was mentally and physically hard. He said the human spirit's being tested right now. I think God has a plan for all of this, but right now we're in a serious time. And, you know, just this morning under the new policy from the Biden administration, which will begin in November, anyone flying into the U.S. must be fully vaccinated and show proof of vaccination before boarding a plane. You also have to have proof of a negative COVID test within three days of going to the U.S. 50 Cent is being sued for $1 billion by a man named Corey Ghost Holland Sr., who claims that power is based on his real life story. He also claims that 50 and the show's producer, Courtney Kemp, are bullying him and has asked the court to help him legally protect his interests and his family and his legal justification if violence becomes necessary to protect him or his family. Now, Ghost Holland says that he and Courtney Kemp's father were friends in the 1990s and that he had mailed him a CD back in 2007 that revealed his past. Um, he also alleges that the series has based 200 scenes on his life. He also told the court that 50's associates have been making threats on his life and have been attempting to bully him. Now, here's the thing, though. The claim will probably be shot down in court and dismissed um, as a one-year statute of limitations in New York has already passed since the show was on the air. Power ended, if you might remember, in February of 2020. So that just might uh, all not happen. Meanwhile, 50, he's celebrating with the success of his latest power spinoff, Raising Canaan, which uh, is doing really well, as well as promoting the upcoming BMF series, which will premiere September 26th. And that's your juicy entertainment news.